Let's say this red ball represents our shooter. Let's say the cue ball here represents the bullet from his gun. The myth is that our shooter can fire a bullet and can bounce off one, two, three surfaces and come back and kill the shooter. Well, that'd ruin your day. I know. Let's test it. OK. The myth takes place in a half-built skyscraper. It's a pinup parable for poetic justice. One angry shot at just the wrong angle misses the target, ricochets off three steel beams, and returns to the shooter in less than a heartbeat. So how do you want to start this one? Well, I figure we need to start with some kind of a controlled situation, you know, a bench test. Well, to my mind, that just means we set up three adjustable steel plates, probably in our bunker, fire a gun into them and see if it ricochets off all three plates and kills its shooter. Works for me. All right. You ready to let all hell break loose in here? Yep. <laughs> From bear bunker to ballistic death trap, the transformation is fast and efficient. Jamie first strips down, then mounts the weapon of choice, a 45 caliber pistol, while Adam takes charge of the vice squad. Nice. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> Nor is this test, unless they get everything right in the setup. If the placement of plates and the gun isn't perfect, they'll be here all day. Three steel plates and three vices and one 45 caliber pistol. And what we've got here is pretty much the bench test setting up the circumstances of this myth, in which this pistol will release its bullet, firing it into plate number one, where it will reflect off in theory, at least, at a 90-degree angle into plate number two, doing the same to plate number three, and hopefully coming all the way back around to where it started, potentially killing its shooter. Now, to make sure that everything's set up nice and jake, I'm going to use some mirrors and a laser. With the help of predictive technology, they're doing Pythagoras proud. The final angle won't quite make a perfect diamond, but there's method behind this deliberate misdeflection. Yeah, it brings the path of the bullet back here so that we hopefully don't hit the gun. OK. I don't want to hurt it. Adam has no such concerns about punching a hole in his partner in crime. I brought some motivation for our gun. I brought a shooter. <laughs> that looked badass. <laughs> yeah. I figure we put him right here, and if there's any meat on the bones of this, he's going to end up with a bullet hole in him. OK. So what we've got set up inside the bunker right now is a really idealized situation. In actuality, I'm not so sure it's going to make it perfectly all the way through. I don't know. I've seen a lot about bullets when they hit metal objects, and I'm expecting some spatter. And they both seem to think that the spatter will matter. Bullets aren't lasers, and in fact, the bullet we're using is going to be made out of lead. These plates are made out of steel, and if you put lead against steel, steel wins. In other words, that bullet's going to deform seriously when it hits a steel plate. Adam puts paper to steel to help mark the points of impact. When he's done, Jamie carefully loads the weapon. Bunker's hot. And they're ready to shoot with intent to kill dirty Jamie. This is ricocheting bullet. Ideal scenario. And three, two, one. I only see one plate with a mark on it. Second plate doesn't have anything. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? On closer inspection, that turns out to be an understatement. <laughs> I can already see what's going on here. Look at the back wall. Yeah, all right along here. It's spread out almost four feet. So much for, like, dang, 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 it just went shotgun. It looks like the lead bullet shattered and the high-speed replay confirms their consternation. Well, that didn't work. And there's your problem. That bullet came in, and it just kind of laid flat right along the plate. It did. It was so beautiful. It followed the line just perfectly. The fire behind it is gorgeous, and then Yeah, there's got to be a bullet that holds together better than that. Yeah, I think so. Time to dip into Jamie's private stash. 